वेलकम बैक ऑन इन्फो फो ट्रिपली एंड यू आर वॉचिंग अ सीरीज ऑन बेसिक्स ऑफ मेटलैब सिमलिंग एंड दिस इज फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ दिस सीरीज इन विच वी विल क्रिएट क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम यूजिंग मेटलैब सिमलिंग एंड माई नेम इज परमजीत सिंह जमवाल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल लर्न वट इज क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम अ सिस्टम विच ऑटोमेटिकली कंट्रोल द इनपुट ऑफ एनी प्रोसेस इज नोन एज क्लोज लूप कंट्रोल सिस्टम This is block diagram of closed loop control system in which input is the variable input which which we are getting from the any source and output is the controlled output which is desired by any process this input is directly in this system we have taken the feedback of the output and given to the subtractor block where trans is taken between desired value and the feedback value and this error is given to the gain block and after this this value has been given to the adder where current input and difference between the desired value and feedback value is added and by this system a respected output has been generated for more clarity we are taking an example uh, suppose we are getting varying input is supply between 110 to 250 volt Uh, while we require 220 volt ac supply for our current applications then we need to set the desired value 220 at this place and second thing is gain the value of gain increase the perfection in output of the system for this we are considering following value first one is 0.1 second one is 1 and third one is 10 now moving towards the practical session we are continuing the simulation which we have uh, created in previous lecture save this simulation with different name here we have a source block which will generate the input supply of 250 volt and frequency of 50 hertz we also have a gain block I also have scope block so just we required a adder so identify that block in simlink library it will be in simlink under commonly used blocks and here you can see that this is some this is the adder block so drag it into your simulation file to check its parameter just double click on this block here you will find that first thing is that icon shape you can shape uh, change your its shape maybe rectangular maybe round i am selecting rectangular and second thing is it consists of 2 plus for, uh, 2 plus is for addition of two signals before that one bar is there if you will move it and apply it then you can see that both the input has been uh, came into one side of the rectangular block so this thing is only to change the input from one side or two side or three side now connect this adder to this signal which uh, which is coming from the signal sine wave block and its output will be given to the second terminal of scope because first terminal we used to check the input of the source that is sine wave block now next thing we require we need to get the feedback of this signal and given to the subtractor so you can convert this adder block to subtractor just copy it and paste it we require a subtractor so just change its parameter this plus is replaced with minus now this adder block has been converted to subtractor we will provide the feedback to negative terminal from the output and reference value will be given to the positive terminal so again we require a sine wave block which can generate the reference single phase supply therefore uh, create a copy of this sine wave block and change its value accordingly we required a 220 volt ac supply so change it and other things are already 
specified. Now connect its output to positive terminal of subtractor. Its output will be fed to gain block and output of gain block will be fed to the adder block of the system. Now our simulation is almost ready. Before running this simulation, I want to discuss one important thing of co block. Just click on it and go into settings section. Here one option there open at simulation start. Currently it is unchecked. If you will check it this block, then whenever you will run a simulation, this scope window will automatically open. So just close it. Now I am running this simulation for the gain value 1. Now you can see that here waveform with yellow color is the input of closed loop control system while the waveform with blue color is the output of the closed loop control system. It is clear that output is little bit smaller than the input which is desired. In similar way you can run this simulation for the gain value of 0.1 and as well as the gain value of 10. This is sufficient for today's lecture. If you find this video on MATLAB Simulink useful, then don't forget to click on like button. You can share this video with your friends who are, wants to learn MATLAB Simulink. If you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos, then subscribe our channel. If you have any query about this video, then leave it in below mentioned comment box. Thank you for being with us.